and welcome back to Larand Gaming and if you're new to the channel, welcome. I, I am Larand and yes, today we are gonna talk about money and how to make money. This has been a very commonly requested thing to make a video of because yeah, we all need money at some point and especially when you are new to the game or really advancing up to the more advanced boats uh, that costs a lot of money then you need as much as possible and eventually you will end up in the situation where you have bought everything and you will just start to well sort of stockpile the money and have nothing to spend it on so how do we get here yeah there are several different methods and ways and i will try to cover some of the most important things and uh, yeah so let's get right to it and yeah, there is a, <laughs> a very simple answer to this. Currently, I would say directly, I will reveal it right away. Yeah, you make the most money, or at least I think the most money. The easiest and fastest way from hunting. Yeah, <laughs> now you know it. But if you're interested in knowing a little bit more than just that, just uh, <laughs> hear me out and uh, I will try to explain why it is like this. Yeah, so now when you know that uh, hunting is the best thing, well, first of all, you're not gonna be able to be a successful hunter as a level one. And uh, really, don't expect any miracles at lower levels. But uh, a good starter spear, I would choose the gladiator spear. It comes in at a price of 75,000. It requires four hits to down an orca, which is not too bad for a price of 75,000. Uh, we're not gonna talk about uh, spears that cost gems. Uh, so this one requires, as you can see, one, two, three, and four hits. And you get two loot from uh, each uh, each one of the orcas that you get. Uh, but the loot uh, from orcas is very good. And uh, you can also get uh, many orcas at the same time. So it's faster. But you're not going to be able to reach all the orcas until you are level 20. So... Uh, yeah, you need to deal with your leveling first before you can start to look into the most efficient place, which is hunting the orcas. But now if hunting is the best, we're gonna take a look at the value of all the pieces soon. Uh, that will cover both fishes and the pieces that you get from hunting. But uh, taking a look at the fishes, because if now hunting is the best way, uh, what about the fish? Now I'm gonna actually reveal a little bit of a secret. I don't think everyone knows this, but depending on the server you are on, you get actually different value from the backpack. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, that's kind of interesting to know. So if you have a price that uh, is... Ah, you don't feel like it's okay, you can actually switch server and get a different price. <laughs> so that, that's uh, a good way of actually earning tens of thousands more coins. Uh, so if, if you have a lot of things that you want to sell, you get a good price, you can actually get more. And uh, we're going to take a look what I have in my backpack, for instance. So we open it up and I have a lot of things that is not locked currently. Uh, we can see the sell value here. It's 504,000 quite okay. Uh, it's roughly 200 pieces of different things that I'm gonna sell. Actually, I'm, I can actually increase it even more. So this is the highest valued item from hunting, the whale heart. You can take a look at the whale heart. Yeah, you can see also now the total inventory value jumped up to 591,000. And the whale heart on this server sells for 87,200. So we're gonna remember that. So 591 and 87 roughly. So let's go switch server. And here we are on a different server. So I haven't changed anything. I still have the same experience and all. So I haven't done any trickeries. And we're gonna check the value on this server. So everything here is for sale. We go check it out. 541,000 on this server. So I get less. I get like 50,000 less on this server. And the whale heart sells for 84,200. So this server has less value on my items. So maybe I shouldn't sell it on this server. And just move on to a new one. <laughs> Let's go check out uh, a third server, shall we? 
And here we are again, and this time it's my own private server. <laughs> so let's go check it out. We have the same amount of experience, no trickery, the same items. And we sell for 584,000 this time. And the value of the whale heart is 87,600. So a little bit better, but I believe the first server was the best. And I've seen the whale heart go up way over 90,000. Uh, even though I don't see it right now. But uh, yeah, so by changing server, if you have a huge backpack full of fish or something that you want to sell, it might be worth to make a few server jumps basically and compare the prices. And you might find a place where you can actually make more money than you would normally get by just selling it. So now when we know that the, the first server where <laughs> I was originally, I got the most money from it. But it's too late because that was a private server and that one is closed. Uh, we're going to go and sell the things that we have here. Uh, I'm going to save the heart just because I don't uh, have more than just one. And I want one of each just to show all the different pieces uh, that you get from hunting. So we sell all this can get quite a lot here so uh, and then we're gonna take a look at different shark pieces so if we go and check first the normal shark so this is what you get from a normal shark i want to mention also i have the double coin so everything that you see here as a sell price you have to divide it by two if you don't have the game pass but just a rare item from a shark pin goes for several thousand and the shark head is almost 8,000 on this server and if you're very lucky you can get a shark egg that's a normal price of almost 20,000 which is awesome great income and getting a shark isn't that hard uh, so yeah that's what a normal shark looks like uh, we're gonna go and check orca which is the second easiest one here and these are the values that we see uh, on orca pieces. You have the meat, you have tail, you have the fin. Slightly higher value here. Oh, we have a mythic ship. Maybe we should go and take that. Ah, we, ah, we save it. <laughs> it's okay. I have enough of uh, the neon orcas anyway. Uh, the fin, uh, great value. And the whale egg or the baby killer whale. It's up to 50,000 or 25,000 if you don't have the game pass. Great value. So we're going to put them all back. And we're going to take a look at the oversized shark. So here is the value of the meat. Great value just for a piece of meat to be honest. Tail. A little bit higher. You have the fin. And you have the head at 11,000. Divided by 2 if you don't have the game pass. And you have actually my most special egg of all the eggs the baby oversized great white shark i only have one i think those are the hardest eggs to get uh, but it doesn't have the highest value apparently so the normal orca has a better value but uh, that doesn't matter still much harder to get that one at least uh, that's what i think so we're gonna save that egg again so we don't lose it and then we can go and check neon pieces. So this neon egg has an awesome value. It's uh, without the game pass 32,000. That's really good. And uh, these pieces aren't really that hard to get. If you get the neons to spawn. The neon sharks has a little bit more hit points. So, so they take a lot more time to get down. If you don't have a very powerful spear. So that's something that you need to keep in mind. But we're going to save this egg and sell the rest. And we're going to check the orca pieces. So now we have all those pieces unlocked. This is also very high value. So this one comes from the mythic ship Rex. See the just a meat piece is all closer to 2000. Great value. And it goes all the way down to the neon egg, which is over 60,000 or over 30,000 if you don't have the game pass. We're going to save the egg and we're going to sell the rest. There we go. Another good thing to know when it comes to hunting is that it doesn't matter <laughs> how much rarity or specialties you have on, on your uh, rod. 
So that's great because uh, you don't need to go to Finn and maximize your rod stats because it doesn't matter. Or if pets, when they are working, they can also boost your damage. It's not a must to maximize everything. It's just not needed. So in general, it's quite easy to get started with the hunting. But if we're gonna take a look at the fishes, because one common question that I see on servers, people asking, not many knows about it, but which fish has the highest value? Yeah, that's a good question, right? So what I did was uh, I did fish all the mythical fish and I did get them in normal size without any mutations. And that's pretty important that it is like that because that will reveal the base value of the fish. And once you know the base value of the fish, you can calculate all the other values on every fish. So here we have all the mythical variations, or not variations, the all the mythical species in the game. And I don't include any event fish. Currently we can get fish from this Valentine's event, but since this video will last longer than this Valentine event, I will not include any event fish because that is not fair. <laughs> Because in a month, those fishes is not going to be obtainable, right? So here we have the different mythical fishes. And this is what it looks like. So it's sorting on the values. So the ones that is lowest on this list is the one that's going to have the highest value. But the thing is that these values may vary a little bit depending on the server, as I mentioned earlier. So I do believe that they might actually have a similar value range. So as you can see, the starfish... The sea bear, very close. Tigerfish, there's not much of a difference. The starfish, it's just a few coins up and down. And uh, I know when I checked earlier today, then this alien starfish was the one that had the highest value. Uh, so that one was down in the bottom. And the cuttlefish was the one that was cheapest. So this is very server dependent. But knowing this, that it can vary and if you check on this table that I will show you so if you check this table this is the multiplier when it comes to value so if you got the basic value as you can see that I have right now you have the different multipliers so if you go let's say if you have a no mutation fish that is huge then you get a multiplier of 2.8 so you multiply the base value and what is also important to know here is that since I have the game pass, I have to divide this value by 2 before I do the multiplication. So in this case, when it comes to a rockfish, or actually I can, we can do a different test. Hold on. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a test to see if this really works. We're going to get ourselves, uh, let's take this one in Port Jackson. This is an area everyone can be at. So you have the port. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Porgy or yeah, whatever the name is. <laughs> and we have a huge size here that I've locked. So we unlock it and that's as an orange glow. And uh, if we see the original value, where is it? Here we have it. So with that value, it's 3728. If you divide it by 2, so we get the original base value that everyone has, that's 1864. And with that value, we can calculate with this table that I showed you, and I can bring it up again, a huge orange fish has a multiplier of 140. So what I do is I take this 1864, I multiply it with 140 and I end up with a price of 260,960. So that's the value that I will get from this fish on this server without my game pass. But since I have this multiplier, I can multiply this result with 2 and then I get 521,920 and we're gonna check and compare if that is actually what we have here so we're gonna scroll down and see the highest value fish here so it's 
521,990, so that's one coin off, so that's a rounding error basically. Uh, so that's how you can calculate basically any value of any fish using that table and knowing what the base value of the original fish is. So that's a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of math, but you can calculate all that using that table. So basically, what's the highest valued fish? Well, it depends on the server, <laughs> and yeah, it and it I would say it depends on the rarity because uh, I do believe that all the mythical fishes they have the same value range. So. That's my answer to that question. And then we of course have this question. Where should, where should I fish? Well, first off, if you want to go and get mythical fish. Yeah, go check where they actually exist. So use the fish index. Go check Port Jackson. You will see that it's only this one that is mythical. And uh, by knowing this. Yeah, you also know maybe where to go and find it here in Port Jackson. So in this case, that's in the cave. At Eruption Island, inside the volcano, just the ordinary volcano, you only have a legendary fish, so you're not going to be able to get a mythical fish. Outside, around the er Eruption Island, there are no mythical fish, as you can see here. And inside the special fishing area, you have this magma sunfish. So that's the highest value fish at Eruption Island. Same goes with Shadow Island. Here you have, as you can see, we have two mythical fish. You have the blue fish and you have the dragon fish. The dragon fish is located inside the special fishing area. And the blue fish, not everyone knows actually where to find the blue fish. But uh, it's basically over at Pirate Cove. And uh, so it's, if we take a look at the islands over there. It's not at that place, it's where you do the SFA quest. So if you fish over there instead, that's where you're gonna get the blue fish. Moving on to ancient shores. Classic place to get the mythic tiger fish. Most people know about <laughs> the ancient shore. You fish at the river to get the tiger fish. But there is also this mosasaurus that is also inside the special fishing area which is uh, basically the same value as it seems by checking the cell tabs. Moving on to the Pharaoh Dunes, you have this alien starfish that is also located inside the special fishing area, but you also have the starfish that is at this uh, small oasis in Pharaoh Dunes. I do believe you might still need a star rod to get the starfish outside, but I could be wrong, I haven't actually tried it. Monsters Burrow, you have the Cuttlefish. That one was located earlier in Fortnite, but now it's in Monsters Burrow. So that's the mythical fish that you can get. And you have also have this Rockfish. This one has always existed in Monsters Burrow. Fishing in the ocean, you have the Sea Bear. That one was located at Watchers Bay earlier, but now you can find it free in the ocean together with the Sunfish. And we're not going to cover the valentine fishes. So those are the mystical fishes. I would say they all have the same value. <laughs> so that's the answer to the question. <laughs> what fish has the highest value? All the mythical fish has the highest value. And it all depends on the server. So here we have the different values. And if I change server, these value will also change. As you have seen earlier in the video. So, there are of course even more things that you might want to consider to get more efficient in getting coins. This game is a lot about dedicating a lot of time to do actual fishing, so there are really no shortcuts. Well, sure, you can buy coins, but I, I'm sorry, I can't recommend it. It's not worth it. Maybe if you are in the beginning of the game and really, really want to have a good head start and you do have crazy amount of robux sure i'm not gonna stop you because congratulations you're rich <laughs> but uh, uh, most players uh, i do think uh, it's better to spend it on gems to get other things well in any case that was all i had for you today if you do have any questions and comments about this please put them below like this video if you would like to see more 
videos from Fishing Simulator and in the future other Roblox games. Please subscribe. Yes, and uh, have a nice day.